Okay, uh, if you got the free tickets for the Jose Ramirez fight, what you gotta do with those tickets is take them to the to the convention center box office, trade them in, and they'll give you the actual ticket. Okay, that's that's uh, like a coupon for you to get a free ticket. You just gotta take it to the convention center in Fresno, and they'll exchange it for a free ticket. Now, you, you, you gotta do that as quick as possible. Okay. So, uh, so they hand out about 25,000 of those free tickets, okay? And only the first 4,000 people who turn that in get to get the free ticket. The other people, they're gonna be there and say, well, we don't have no more free tickets, but you can buy this ticket. So you gotta be one of the first people that go there and exchange those for your free ticket. And if you do it with, before the show, you usually get the, get it. Okay, so, um, we're in beginning of April, that's not till May. Probably any time in the next two weeks, they'll still have the free tickets if you take that over there. Hey, what? What did you say? She said she's gonna go to the bathroom when Marco's mom is done. Come on, hurry! Okay, uh, if everybody will please ride. <laughs> In February, um, one of the local coaches here from Bakersfield refused to lose boxing club, passed away. His name was uh, Jose Cardenas. And uh, I should have given him his final 10 count at my February show. But things was running in my head, I wasn't available. I mean, I didn't think about it, it just passed by. So I want to get that today. And also, uh, uh, last week, uh, all right, we have a, a club, Perez Boxing Club in Selma. And the coach of that is Felipe uh, Perez. His father passed away. So I make this uh, final 10 count for the both of those. So we can all bow, bow our heads and we're gonna do the final 10 count right now. May they, may they rest in peace. I was elected president of Central California Boxing in December. Now, it seems like there's, it's a thing to do job, but uh, so far this year, I'm trying to get as, as many uh, shows done as we can, to get as many officials as we can, and we had uh, we have nine brand new officials up, up north in Stockton, and at those shows up north, uh, it's hard to get officials, so now we have a lot of local officials right there that are gonna be able to go. Uh, we're going to be having some more officials clinics here locally, uh, Fresno area, in Bakersfield, and Salinas to try and get more of those officials so that the few officials that we have don't have to travel so far and we'll have more local uh, officials in different regions. Also, uh, those coaches that need a, uh, coaching clinics, we'll be able to do some more of those uh, pretty soon. Uh, okay, um, oh, also, May 2nd is uh, was a date that they were supposed to have a show in uh, Sanger. And it's the day of the Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather fight. But uh, if any of, if you guys want to have a show that day, Sanger pulled out and they don't want that date no more. Uh, so if any of you registered clubs want to have a show May 2nd, let me know. And if you can do it, we'll, we'll set it up so uh, the date doesn't have to come and go and um, without no show locally. Because all you guys, I mean, this is full house today. We have 29 matches. You guys want to fight. There's fights. 
<laughs> if any of you guys want to have Sunday shows, let me know. We'll do Sunday shows. That way, Saturday is not so good. We could split them up to a Saturday and a Sunday, two different events. Um, so let us know. We, we, we're willing to do Sunday shows. I'm willing to travel and take the boxes to Sunday shows. So, uh, so let us know. And uh, thank you guys all for coming today. Uh, let's, let's get this thing started.